Hey, what's up, Sniper team? Sniper Nick here. And tonight, we're gonna go over our watch list for tomorrow morning, which is Wednesday, November 13th. It should be an exciting morning. The Dow did close high, so that's cool to see. Gives a lot of these listed stocks some spark. There's been a couple earnings plays that have been continuing for a couple days, actually. So not only for just those one and done that we've, been, that we've been seeing a lot with the low float land, but these earnings plays have created momentum, and they've been continuing on maybe day two or three. We're gonna see one in the watch list that actually got a delayed spike, so that'll be a good one to talk about. And uh, and then we're gonna talk about some OTC plays, which is cool. So we got a mix of OTC and listed plays for this watch list. So let's do it, guys. Let's go ahead and dive in for tomorrow. The watch list is Wednesday, November 13th. Let's do it. On the left side, we're gonna have the watch list, and on the right side, we're gonna have TD Ameritrade Stinker Swim. Big shout out to TD Ameritrade Stinker Swim. It's actually how we made every single dollar, and we did it from our phones. We had to trade on our phones when we all had full-time jobs. So this is the only reason that we continue to make it possible. So we definitely owe it to TD. Big shout out. If you know anybody there, tell them. We owe them. Give us their address. We're sending something. One day. Hopefully we'll send something good. But we could send a shirt. Hope you guys like the new shirts. It's actually a new shirt that we just got in. If you guys do like it, reach out. See what we can do. Wrap it around your city. We'll be wrapping it later around the city. Even though it's already dark outside at 6 o'clock and nobody will be able to see it, I'll be wrapping it. I'm have to make some neon ones. Anyway, guys, let's go ahead and let's dive into the watch. Let's talk about stocks. Let's talk about making money and the potential for tomorrow morning to make money. So I'm going to start with the top of the watch list and then go down. And uh, we'll start with this first one, NVGT. The one year, one day. We're looking at the right side. OTC, 52-week fresh breakout, as you can see here, at 14. This ended up seeing 39% intraday from that breakout in the morning. So good stuff. This is the power of a fresh OTC breakout in the morning. In my opinion, this is the best opportunity in the market. It's definitely the most exciting. Uh, there might be other opportunities that make you 40% intraday. I haven't found it. Let me know. I'd love to learn more. I'm always open to it. But this, you know, been in the market for four years. This has been coming over and over again. It's just being prepped for it. And NVGT was a fresh breakout in the morning and did its move it made 39 percent on the day big shout out longs i saw jack in the chat he took it from 13.9 all the way up to the 18s or 19s so nice man and that's all in one day that's just being prepped and that's what this setup could present over and over and over again and this is actually lined up with something that we love to see on the long-term chart which i break down here in the watch list when looking at these setups the long-term chart We'd love to see a strong push over prior resistance. So right here. And then it consolidates for, for a few days. And then it breaks out again in the AM or during power hour, which happened right here and ended up breaking out. Uh, let's go ahead and let's dive into the one day, one minute to see how it played out in the day and when it broke out. Right here, it ended up breaking out at 9.53. Impressive, impressive breakout. And then it just continued uh, uptrending into the end of the day. NVGT, it was a sub penny in October 25th, not too long ago. So this is a clear pumping up and a piece of shit company. But these companies and these stocks offer the best short-term opportunity in the market. Of course, you would think the bigger opportunity, the bigger risk, but that's what's so awesome about these plays. That's why we're here. It's to break down, just basically learn the basics, the basic sniper fundamentals. Risk management is our biggest key. That's our biggest house key, what I like to call it. It's what we created our foundation on. And everyone thinks that's so crazy with penny stocks, risk management. That's actually the, the reason why we're so consistent. It's our bread and butter, and it may sound boring, and if that's, you know, shitty if that's boring to you then this game isn't for you it's not a game for that one home run this is to build consistency to build the skill over time and that risk management has been our house key it's build our house now that it did do its push and it's up over its 14 cent breakout what we're looking at now since we're not in we're looking at a panic to see if we get a deep dip back to that 14 cent breakout area or it had some five day support at 13.5. If you are in it overnight, just be aware, be aware that this VWAP is right here. Be aware also of this support right there. Hopefully this does gap up and continue for these OTC plays. When one runs, it only helps the other ones get perked up. But if it doesn't happen, what we're gonna be looking at, the reason why it's still on the watch list, is for a potential panic down to that 14 cent 13.5 area. This is also breakouts, but these are listed 52 break, two week breakouts. So here's what they look like side to side here. These are the days that they had. 
complete different kind of days. And that's what's so interesting about the stock market. There's so much that goes into it and there's so much that you can learn. However, once you learn and once you speak the language, once you learn and once you speak a language, it just becomes a skill that you get better at and you can put in work into that skill every day. That's what's so awesome about the market. KDMN and APPS, the long-term charts look similar. As you can see, these are both breaking out of high brand new 52 week breakouts over here. Both ended up holding VWAP and close towards its high. So we're putting both on the radar for potential continuations tomorrow. KDMN got favorable clinical trial results last night. Is a fresh news play. They got clinical results yesterday. And then this morning, the news continued with price target raises to eight and 10, right? And the stock's at 374. So it's got some bullish news behind it. The stock did start off strong as we read here. And it made that new high of 374, but then it dipped and it dipped down to that breakout spot of 330. Now, interesting enough, guys, it ends up holding and creating support right around that 330 spot and ends up marinating around that 330 spot for the rest of the day. So it's good to see that it held that breakout and that's why we still have it on here. Same with APPS, it held its breakout throughout power hour. And then come to the end of the day, KDMN gets a pop over VWAP and ends up popping almost towards that high day. It's good to see that they have legs. Look at the end of the day, it popping up from that 340 all the way to 370. However, that's still just off of its high. So it gives us a prime spot to watch tomorrow, that high of 373 to see if we could get a continuation here. And then for APPS, as you can see, this one was uptrending all day and ended up creating some support into the close. The breakout here happened, let's read into the watch list here. It says AP was an earnings winner from last Monday. So reading into the watch list, APPS was an earnings winner from last Monday, holding over its prior 52 week breakout of 77.85. Got it actually its str first strong volume day since that earnings news. And it closed above that 7.85. So it says we're looking at the support at 7.95 and then its breakout of 8.35 today. All right, so those are, that's the key range that we're gonna be watching tomorrow. It's this breakout down here, the support right here in the 790, 785 that we're looking for it to hold. The breakout tomorrow is 835. So keep an eye on that. It's another listed 52 week breakout and it is carrying on from its earnings win last Monday. So those are those two plays. Let's move on to the next group. So this group is a list is a group of four listed stocks, and these are actually all four first green days. We're gonna watch tomorrow to see if they can continue for potential day twos. Remember the market is heating up, the market is hot, it's hanging out around, around its highs, and these plays each closed around their highs. So we're gonna watch to see if they can hold the supports they created during power hour, and then continue tomorrow. So let's go ahead and let's dive into the list. These are listed first green day plays that closed above VWAP and they're holding towards their highs, into the close, so we are watching for potential continuations tomorrow. AEHR and ATIS are our two favorites on this list because they are lower floats and they both created power or support. Watch if they can hold for tomorrow morning. AEHR is 52 week breakout. So AEHR is actually coming up to a 52 week breakout of 219. That's nice to see. We're gonna watch to see if this one could finally see good, good volume and push to that 219 high of year. Okay, so that's a 52 week breakout, fresh AEHR, 52 week breakout, could happen tomorrow morning, 219 is that resistance spot. And then with ATIS guys, this is that classic downtrend of just them red days, red days, red days, red days. And you got this light pop showing some kind of life. So we're gonna see if this light pop can hold and continue tomorrow. We're gonna watch this range uh, tomorrow morning at the open. So it has 75 cent support and 85 Sent resistance, so we're gonna watch that range tomorrow morning for those two stocks. We do like that they have those supports that are clear there, so we can gauge our risk and be ready to go tomorrow morning. Volume is key in the morning, so keep an eye on volume in both of these here. BNGO, I put this on the list because this was a nice power hour breakout, and I just wanted to show the potential of some of these listed low float plays when they're creeping up to their highs of power hour like BNGO was. So BNGO, a fresh first green day, as you could see, it didn't really make its move until midday. However, it held that midday move and ended up holding VWAP and it came back up to this 90, 99 cent resistance at 3.43, 17 minutes left. 
either going to go up or down here. It's not going to consolidate anymore. As you can see, the volume's been coming in. And this one ends up breaking out and pushing from 99 all the way to 109. So you get a nice 10% push, a little bit over 10% into the close. That's nice to see. Now that it made that move, we're going to see if BNGO can create some support in the morning for a potential continuation for day two here. Um, however, BNGO did make a 10% move, so we do want to see some more support in the morning to see if it could get going again. BNGO, the reason why we love it, look at its spike ability in the past. We've seen it go from 1 to 470 in one day. ARLO, this is actually uh, a little bit heavier of a, heavier of a float, and it's bouncing off of its all-time lows, as you can see, but it did just get a price raise to 4, so they have some guidance of a price target of 4, so we will see how this does because this had a tight range of 290 and 3. So let's see if that gets any hype tomorrow morning with some volume. And that's these four listed stocks, all of their average volume. And then the volume they traded today is down here. There's a good indicator to see if they have some volatility to see if they're getting more attention than usual. And each one of these are. And again, each one of these are lower float besides ARLO. And then lastly, guys, to wrap it all up, ACST, this one is approaching a four month breakout. No significant news, but it is coming close. We said listed play that is approaching the four and this is of 230 with good volume. ACST created a trading range between 207 and 219 today. We'll be watching to see if it can, if it can continue that 219 tomorrow. So we really like that it created this clear trading range. Again, everybody thinks penny stocks are so risky. The risk is there, it's set for you. You can gauge your risk as long as you put down the basic sniper fundamentals, and really the basic fundamentals, it's getting, you know, being able to see that, you're able to gauge your risk and be able to find the three to one, four to one odds. So th this one, we think if it comes up to that 219 resistance in the morning with good volume, we think it could push and continue to at least test the 230 all day month resistance tomorrow. All right, so let's see with APST, maybe the cause of news article to help, and uh, we're watching it, so we'll be the first ones on it. So anyway, guys, that wraps it up for tonight. Hope you guys picked up some new stickers. Uh, maybe a couple tips in there. Thanks for tuning in tonight, guys. We will be on the watch tomorrow morning with these stocks. See you guys in the chat. Much love, Sniper. See you guys.